Um, so we're gonna play without the Vagabond? Yeah, fuck him. He doesn't yeah, let's do that. Let's get it close. He's, I literally didn't notice him the entire game, so... Let's not have him keep making any money. So, I have created the game and there's no... <gasps> Can I still swap? I, can't, I think I... I'm cut out. Doesn't matter, if you choose your factions, I'm gonna get the birds again. This is the only random faction. Any faction. I am for any faction. I don't care. I'll, I, I would like to be birds. the birds if it's okay. You wanna be the birds? I wanna be the birds. Okay. Bird, bird, birdy bird. Did you ban the uh, the Vagabond? Yes. You banned it. Yes. I banned it. I wanna be the Vagabond. Well then. Oh, okay. Bad luck for you. You're gonna have to be the rebels now. Shit. Wait, I'm the cats right now. Wait, okay, who am I? King Yon oh, is the cats. Bird, which one do you wanna be, Jason? I wanna be birds, 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 birds. Bird, bird, bird. Can I be the vagabond? Well, then we're gonna have to start over again. Oh, uh, never mind. mind then. So I just left the oh, game. Oh, well, we're I left. To start over oh. now. I want you to be the vagabond now. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like the, the vagabond could be like a kingmaker in this game. I'm not sure if I like. Yes, you can do that a lot. It's... In the late game, it's usually between the Vagabond or the uh, the Wooden Alliance in the, the main game. In the regular game, okay. for sure. Because hmm. the Vagabond usually just ignored because he helps everyone. At one point in the game, he just starts stabbing angles instead and then it goes off. Yeah. I I won a Vagabond game against the uh, Vakis and the Birds, the Dynasties, on the winter map in the board game. By playing a specific Vagabond, I don't think is in the main game. If he is, he's gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. There's only four Vagabonds yeah, so far, but the I'm next expansion... They, they, they said there will be two new uh, Vagabonds for the next game with the new yeah. River Folk thing. Next game, next, next expansion. I'm so looking forward to River Folk. You'll never f catch me doing anything but playing River Folk. Okay. I fucking love those others. They're so fucking cool. They're so fun. They have such fun gameplay. If people play with you. They're very dependent on people actually playing up to you to have any chance of winning. But it's a very interesting fun mechanic. You can pitch Am I ready? pitch us the oh, game mechanics while we're readying ready up here. I, I'm ready. So you have to join the game. They, yeah, like that. Bam, 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 bam. they okay. work off an econ econ economic gameplay. So other players pay their meeples, the game, the, the ones they don't have to put on the board, they pay them to the uh, to the others in exchange for different favors. It can be they can buy cards from the other's hand. So if you sit there, you know, I, I need, really need a bird card as the bird, you can say, okay, the other has a bird. And then you pay him meeples to get his bird card. He always plays with an open hand. His actions are dependent on his economy. So he can invest his birds or his meebles into actions. So a move is an investment, an attack is an investment, and sometimes when you're sitting with 10 meebles, you have 10 actions. I will be honest, I'm not sure I entirely understood that. But but I'm there? excited to try it out. Yeah, just for fun. Because I, I don't think it mattered where I put mine compared to my cards anyway, so no, 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 then I feel like there's not really... It doesn't matter for you, but it matters for me. It might matter for my cards, uh, and it didn't in this case. That's, uh, um, oh, okay. Like when you click what? stuff, stuff happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can click the water and go sploosh. Yeah, if I, if I press a cat, he's just like head banging. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. Uh, I might change my mind because there's only one build slot in that. What the heck? Yeah, top right oh. is, is the one that has that's, to that's why it's unusual to not take top right. I see. However, bottom left is the easiest defensible. Is it? Yeah, because the middle, the, the one top right, you have one that goes into the middle. So it's like far extended. But like, the mate, the, do whatever. <laughs> I usually yeah, like yeah, having two, two, two spots. Here, here I, I took this one because it has two adjacent spots with two build slots. So I think that might actually be pretty neat, decent. Let's see if I'm right. 
Let's continue to complete setup, yes. Let's use that one. Okay. Uh, please, no. Uh, I think I agree that this is the ones. best start. Start. Uh, eerie. Let's see. You can start the eerie with any of the guys. That's the fun thing. No, yeah, but I, I mean, if we are grading them, I think this one would be a really good one. You guarantee you get a, a bird build decree, and you can always move and build in the first turn. Like, no one can really prevent you from that. So, mm -hmm. the first turn, you can't be locked down and turmoiled. Yes. Uh, you need roost to actually grow your game and to snowball. And exactly. you also don't want to use colored cards for the roost building. That, that's asking for a turmoil. Exactly. How did they... Oh, okay. Ah, oh, okay. Let's see. Two, three, four. Okay, we're gonna start here. Wanna be it's a friend's neighborhood in Vagabond. This is great, because I actually don't here. know how a player would play Vagabond. I'm excited to see what you end up doing. Oh! Uh... Get. You know what, Jason? Let's unite oh. against the, the other guy. I don't mind. Hey, I'm bad at this game. Whoop, whoop. Hey, we friend now. Hey, look at that. Wait, you're friends with the cats now? No. <laughs> I am uh, friends with everybody. Because right you now I don't have my favorite. Character. Yeah, the ranger. Ranger, how to uh, exhaust to repair the items in hideout, then immediately end Wait, daylight. Wait, the vagabond starts? I don't starts? understand that. I think it's random That's who what? starts. It's random. Oh, really? I thought it's always cats first, birds next. No, I was the vagabond I was last. the last one. I was the what, last one last time. Hmm. I, I also thought there was a fixed okay. turn order. Yeah, nope. didn't know that either. Oh, it's my turn now. God damn it. The, the game could be a little bit better at saying, hey, it's your turn. But maybe I just need to pay more attention because we're talking and then I'm not paying attention, I suppose. Don't worry. Oh. I like how much of this game is automated because we, as, you, like, as you pitched to me with Mage Wars, a lot of the stuff you just, ah, I forgot to do that and I forgot to do this trigger. Yeah. It just happens automatically here. And there is a lot to keep track mm -hmm. of. Especially when you start playing six players. And that's the that's the upside of digital adaptions of board games. Now we just gotta keep in mind that most digital board game editions are trash. I'm just gonna put, but put this, that up there. I really oh, like okay. this one. I, I feel like I'm playing Root. Yeah, that's good. The Vagabond I'm looking forward to the adding in the, uh, the River Fork, I think it is. It's called the Scoundrel. And his torch ability, his unique ability, is he can drop his torch in a clearing, burn out and destroy everything in it, and nobody else, the rest of the game, can enter that clearing. What? <laughs> his that picture sounds... is a uh, is a cat with a pumpkin carved into a, like a pumpkin on his head with a face carved into it, like a classical pumpkin face. So he's you know he's the scoundrel. Oh, that rep, nice. rep capture scamp. <laughs> like, oh, wait, no, hold on. I, uh, then I didn't recruit. Oh, uh, shit. I guess I would have gotten only one Why guy. Why would you recruit every, anything? Uh, Who do we want to defend uh, against? I mean, you don't have any enemies. Now I did. I did a common economy build up here. I hope that was okay. It's fine. Uh, depending on like how you want to play, some I I prefer usually withdrawing all my warriors and consolidating around a third of the map, like half or third of it, whatever whichever is most defensible. The way you started here, you can easily defend by using three clearings with all your warriors in. And then you can easily mm -hmm. like control one, two, three, four, five, six clearings. 
Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but like if you use the top right corner, you have to hold four clearings in order to prevent everybody from getting into you. Why four? There's only three entrances. No, there's four. There's a top one. There is the, uh, the the rabbit one in the middle. There's the mouse one, and there's the rabbit one at the bottom. The... Uh... You have the top right corner. Oh yeah, of course. If like if you only want to keep the closest adjacent clearings to you, yeah. The, I think we're, uh, yes, we're, we're talking three. we're talking about different things. Yeah, I, I understand what you mean now. Okay. Yeah. Sleepy boy. Call me the water slide. Hello. I'm gonna slide into your DM. <laughs> and I'm gonna give you a present. Hey. And I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I know what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm gonna do? Hey, baby. Oh, you gotta do it twice, yeah, to increase relationship. Yeah, baby. Nice. Down with the birds. Kick out the birds. Oh, no, I, I have no beef with the birds. Okay. We're all about here having a, about having a good time. Uh, what did I get? Oh, backpack. Nice. Uh, that's about it, I think. If I were to somehow destroy Jason's mouse roost this turn, I would deny him recruitment and turmoil him, but I don't think I can do uh, Can I craft anything? Is it going to build in? Oh, no. How do I craft? Oh, that's automatic at the start of the turn, so if I had had anything to craft, it would have asked me, right? Yes. Right now you can uh, only craft... Where did you put it? You put it in there. Huh? Oh yeah, you put it in the mouse clearing. Ah, oh, the tooltips are the correct ones when you zoom all the way out. Oh, this is so nice. I, I made mistakes, I think. Damn it. Working out. I'm gonna have to discard a few cards anyway. Which is not what I wanted. I thought I could craft. So if I want to craft, I need to build workshops this turn for next turn. Yes. Workshops are the building that gives you the most victory points when you build them, but they're also the ones that, in the sense of the game, does the least on the board. Yeah. Of course, they're victory point machines because you can craft more, but you don't get board presence, you don't get more resources, and you don't get more warriors. That's why. Yeah, that's why I'm, my keys. I is discovered my a of major weakness of my setup. Uh, I'm not getting a workshops in rabbit clearings. That's not good. Anyway, let's build a. Cruder. Go wrong with that. Want to make sure we get some dudes on the field. Such a ton of recruiters. Yeah, three. And I could do the thing that you were talking about and just be like, well, uh, I'm not going to be able to keep these guys out here. You. And the thing about the cats is you have 25 warriors. So if you have three clearings, you can have eight warriors in each clearing. That is really hard to punch through that clearing. Yeah, that's fair. You need then uh, Marquis need to have eight this. warriors to be able to walk through and attack the other side. And every time you lose warrior, you just go, ah, but like, like they just went to the hospital. It's fine. Is that what you do when I'm not around? Do you? Do you play Muppet? Oh. Uh -huh. 
Timmy, you're on stream, you're being broadcasted. That's cute. <laughs> That's cute. Now the whole world will know. You're making everyone jealous. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> no, you shut up for once. <laughs> Three cards discarded, man. That's rough. It was a misplay letting that happen. Um, Jason? Hmm? You are aware that when you destroy his buildings, you get points? Yeah, but I have, have a hard time getting that. Oh, okay. Pretty far them. away. Yeah. I, and I actually want to build more than I want to destroy. Despot. If you remove at least one enemy building or token in battle, score a point. In addition to other points you would normally yes. score for a building. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Man, you want to recruit in that mouse clearing, eh? There are no bad leaders for the Yuri. They're just different times you need them. Yeah. I mean, the builder one, I'm not a huge fan of. I'll be honest. I, I can see uh, why he can one, be good. The Don't get me wrong. basic and low risk. You can't deny the builder with his, with his, with his yeah. starting stuff. He's the no, builder guy. Is I'm talking about his ability. Mid late game. He's mid late game because by mid late game, if you have hmm. trouble expanding, you already have like four or five roosts down, and the map is pretty consolidated, and you don't really want to go fight. Then you just sit and craft. You draw yeah, a lot of cards fair. easily, and you start. You don't get the uh, the victory point penalty. So he has his place. You just, you know, need to get there first. <laughs> oh, I thought this was a battle starting. Okay. Uh, uh, what a slippy slide. Hello. Man, the cats seem like they would be good, but I just don't know how to play them. I feel like I'm just betting, getting overwhelmed. I think you're you're right. You should move back and consolidate and like go in a defense mode. But at the same you time, I have, do want to own yeah. the whole board. You know. Yeah, but you can't. <laughs> you just can't. You don't have the action. I know. Economy. I know. But you have some I want of the easiest. To. You have some of the easiest way of gaining ex uh, experience, uh, gaining victory points. And if it's one point you start losing, like you know, you need to gain more points. You may believe the the the. The bottom mouse clearing you have with your recruiter, abandon it, go back to the fox clearing. Somebody else moves in there, you go in, you battle, and you rebuild. Easy points. Hmm. My problem last time is that I chose to be the more risky top part. Like I said, it was more aggressive but harder to defend, and you easily took the middle as the uh, as like impenetrable middle as those goddamn hmm. Al Qaeda ones. So I just couldn't <laughs> dislodge you from the middle. Terrorists. That's usually when I have to explain people like what the different factions are. I usually just call them the Al Qaeda mouse. Okay. It just blows stuff up and spreads sympathy and like, oh yeah, we're the good guys. <laughs> they blow everything up, like destroyed my twin towers. Nice. And you're the one streaming, so if I make uh, inappropriate jokes, it's on your head. You're welcome. I mean, this is as long as you're not. I, this is fine. I don't. We're, we're joking. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. Or am I? No, wait. So now I can craft stuff. What? Yes, it totally worked. I did it, guys. I crafted a thing. This was my plan the whole time, is to get stuff Fuck crafted. Fuck yeah! Hell yeah, man. That big now I will surely win. Then I need to skip. Let's see what we can build. The Marquis Padre. She is a sexy kitty. Isn't it a she? Yeah, the Marquis cat is a she. Faction in the game represents a different ideology and like business model and stuff. Like the cats are consumerists, expansionists, the birds are traditionalists, <laughs> nice. the 
the Freedom Fighters are funded enough the Freedom Fighters. Get off and my property! The last expansion hmm. that came out, uh, the the Duchess, the Duchy, is really really cool and definitely like it brought a couple new maps and two really cool factions and I haven't gotten to play them properly. I only played against new people who were like, "Do you want to try and play rude?" And then I of course beat them, uh, so it wasn't as much fun. But they have you uh, lost in your first play. Oh, I'm rusty as shit, mate. <laughs> and you played a beautiful mid game there. That was like I'll take it. You had a strong early game. Ah, here's... And we didn't punish you, and you just damn it was nice. There we go. I, I feel like I was missing something. This was it. I needed to spend a card to get more stuff. So then I can get. Yeah, we'll do this. Will work. Then I can keep building. This is a little bit dangerous, I won't lie. Let me look at that decree. <sighs> oh, you have crafted an item for me. I have. You can come and buy it from me. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, that's a mouse clearing, so you can recruit your whole... How many do you have in reserve? Can I see that somehow? Nine. Damn. Uh-oh. Yeah. He has I, 20 uh, meebles and you have 25. He doesn't have any But he has better action so economy I, being late game. Let's see if I get away with this. Can I? Oh, Peace okay. among worlds. Peace among worlds. Peace you can have life. half the forest. You do realize that Peace Among Worlds is uh, accompanied by the stinky finger. Oh, what? By the stinky finger? What? Yes. I do, I've, I've not heard of this. By, by giving someone the thing. Wait, 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 wait. What? Wait, can I? Can I only? Um, you can only assign one bird card to the decree per turn if that's what you're trying. There's a limit of one bird kind as that card assigned. Yeah, I think yeah, that's good case, because fuck. otherwise it would be. Yeah, that would, would be, be too, way too powerful. Broken. I used to think uh, the Eerie was the strongest faction. Uh, of the four basic shizzle, one. Shizzle. God fucking damn it. <laughs> yeah, in that case, I, heard that I laugh. have to nice. do it like this and uh, calm the fuck on. Uh, crafting. Do I want to craft that? I do not want to craft that. I want to recruit here. And I want to recruit here okay. as well. And then I want to recruit here. So. Taking these guys over here. But you still can't fight. Did you just call me weak? Uh, that's, that's not what I said. I just said that you are a peaceful folk just like me. And it's not part of your political propaganda. The birds are spreading. Some kind of sexual euphemism. What is this? Oh boy! <laughs> Who told you you could build here? And that's a mouse clearing, so you can do. I know. You can do I that just thing. I drew two bird cards. Nice. I'm so fucking good at this game. <laughs> More boots. High skill plays, drawing cards. Friend? I mean, you've played Legends of Runeterra. Half the skill that game needs is drawing the right cards. Mm -hmm. you're drawing the wrong cards, well, then you just uh, aren't good enough. That knapsack, babe. Boop. Thanks, there baby we go. go. Do you wanna be my friend? Hmm. I'm, now I'm Thank looking at it be. like, oh yeah, I got this card, but I don't actually I have nothing to use this card for. Same with this one. So, I'm not... I wanna be your maybe friend. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. But I feel like really, it's really hard to spend cards as the Marquis. Now we are allied. Or, bird cards help, thanks. Oh, we are allies. Now, we wanna, now we're gonna go to war. 
Uh, hmm. Against each other. No. I haven't seen that in play yet. The 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 war uh, the Vakaran upon leading people to war. We wanna go down here. <laughs> Oh, and now we want to fight. You, you, you can take um, it. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. I guess this is <laughs> fine. Holy crap! What a an army. It's a fight. All right. Yeah. No kidding. Vagabond is choosing casualties. I'm not sure what that means. It means oh, I an ambush. I have to take hits, but I can give you hits as well. Nice, good roll. I had the three. What, 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 what happened? We were the attackers. We the attackers. Ah, yes. Yeah, we get the high die. That. Huh. <laughs> Wait, now you control the fucking zone and I can't craft. Fuck you. Can you craft? Does that prevent crafting me controlling territory? Shouldn't. I just so. have to be in there. I thought I have to control them. Yeah, no, no. That's, I, that's I, far you, might, you might be right. I, I well, now I told Kijun that I need control of that zone. Whatever. I mean, I was going to attack you in there anyway. What? I think. You were? Yeah. I mean, now I've got some boys and I can oust you. I need to take you to roost down, so this is a, an excellent opportunity. Now I didn't spend a move action to go in there, and I didn't spend an action to attack myself. That's, this is the best that could have happened I think for me with one exception because you did leave one of my clearings completely open now which is definitely not why I want it uh, I mean so we I'm thinking I'm thinking about then you're not gonna like what I'm gonna do next turn what you don't you don't need those two <laughs> licks in there you're really not gonna like what I'm gonna do next way of thinking about time. this yeah because you're gonna send my troops somewhere else or just spend all my power but that's kind of interesting. I like this mechanic. Now I have a, a rules a question good. for you, Ape. Did you see my point? What Did happens? You see my point, but I'm the... I got three yeah. points uh, because what... we killed three birds who I'm at war with. Yeah. Uh, what happens if I attack you, sir? Ape. Uh, he loses I'm... items. You break his items. Yeah, you break my items. But and unless I, if I don't kill... If I kill any of yours, then the alliance breaks. As far as I remember. Mm. If I don't kill any of yours, then the alliance stands. Interesting. I can't undo it if I click it, so I'm thinking here, but I think that's I, I think I wanna break this alliance bullshit. You also gonna score a ton of points from that. So friends, I think this is friends. the right way. Get out of here! Ah, oh, all right. But I'm destroying your stuff. So you only get an animation for the fighting when you're actually in the fight. Yeah. Vagabond is choosing items to destroy. Fair enough. This may slow you down a little bit anyway. That's going to go bigger, I think. And then I'm thinking, yeah, I know. So that didn't do what I wanted it to do. So here we go again. Perfect. OK, you take two guys from me. That's a little bit too much, but I suppose this is fine. And I'm destroying your stuff. So, so Jason, I hope that uh, I mean, I'm stopping him from winning, so I hope I hope we we're good. Stop? <laughs> what? I mean, we've never fought yet. I'm, I have no reason to start now. Uh, we've technically fought, but I was I was uh, uh, stolen. My my autonomy you were, you uh, were was stolen by another. I was misled. It was yes. not in your command. So now, yes, the alliance is broken. This worked perfectly. Sweet. This got a matching card for field hospital, right? Oh. Not bad. I, yeah, this is what I'm spending my time on, this of means, course. Right? right, right. Yeah. So that's this is what I was missing. I can get rid of my cards by going to war and losing troops. I see. I understand now. So then, uh, yeah. I mean, now I just talked about peace and our worlds, but eh, let's just kill him. 
Ah, not enough to destroy the roost. Dang it. Okay. Wait, you just did three fighting actions? Oh yeah, I can keep... I have four actions, uh, because I spent a bird card. I do think that I need to recruit. I, I can destroy a roost right now that just by spending an attack action, but I, this is my final one. So I think the best play is to get some recruit going, otherwise I'm gonna be... I mean, you're gonna be able to destroy my stuff anyway, but I might need my troops out. And... is that the whole thing? Yeah, okay. I scored no victory points that turn. Maybe I, maybe that was a bad play. I don't know. Not, okay, not ever gonna be able to craft this anyway. Yeah, I think the Maquis might just be the hardest faction to play. Again, I, I have, I've not played the birds before, so. I mean. For every person, there's a faction that is the hardest to play. I don't like playing uh, the Woodland Alliance. Okay. I, that one, I feel like it almost played itself. Yeah, but I don't like the way they play. And I have yeah. I've haven't won. I haven't. I think I've played them once or twice and haven't won with them. But I've won with the cats. I've won as the uh, the river folk. And I've won as the, uh, the vagabond. Okay. And I've won as the, 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 the underground dodge. Who play very similarly to the cats in some regards. That's why I, I really like this asymmetrical decree. warfare. Uh oh, there's a an attack. Order in the decree. He's going oh, to shit. war. Well, he's gonna have to, right? Yeah. So yeah. Uh oh. Oh, I'm saving up wood again. I I, I didn't spend any wood that turn. think you'd like uh, the underground dodgy they have a one of the factions is called uh, the Corvid conspiracy and they they play somewhat similarly to the uh, uh, what they call it. the wooden Alliance but they are very fun all right bam yeah that kills all of them Die, I, have... I do have a card for this. Good. Ah, let's see. This or that. I think this. Ape, you can do almost nothing on your turn here, right? So. I'm guessing you will be retreating to the woods. I, I, I didn't understand your character straight though, so I might be wrong. There's something about him being able to repair items. I don't really understand that one. Uh oh. Mm. Retreat uh, anywhere. You can, look at my victory point. I had 11 points before. Choose battle casualties. Yeah. It says I have yeah. two swords and two. Oh, I can take it on the wood? Are you kidding me? What? Yeah, but the woods still give I did you not points. Know. The woods are tokens. Wood the woods are tokens, so I get points for destroying. I get two points for destroying a wood. I got three points for doing this fight. And guess what? Huh. Just I'm not sure I understand, again. but okay. Come on, give me a two. Ah, fuck. Well, I got one of your buildings. Okay. So I take the wood and this one. Okay. So that's four points for me. Jesus, man. Yeah. I mean, it really scares me, but I'm, I, I can clearly tell who's winning. Like, I, I, I know the Eerie looks strong, but it's the Vagabond that's just winning this. And it's really hard what, to stop you. you. I really thought... <laughs> yeah, I just yeah. got seven points on two swords yeah. and no movement, baby. But mm -hmm. I'm fucked. Can I... No, I can't aid you. I don't, I don't want to... No, I don't want to aid you. Fuck you. <laughs> wait, 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 you got boots. Boots are exhausted. You only have a torch and a bag left. Is that correct? 
I only have two swords left. Two what? I only have two swords left. But at the start of my turn, every Vagabond has an ability called Slip, where I can slide into any yeah, clearing into without... Forest, I know. Yeah. So I use that to go slap Kenny around a bit. The problem is, if I sit here and only think about stopping you guys from winning, I'm not gonna win myself. So I, I don't know what to do. I, I think, yeah. Fuck with the wrong Vagabond. We could've been friends, man. We could've been friends. I thought I shut you down more with that, destroying all your stuff, but you save the swords and that's all you need. <laughs> I mean, hmm. if you destroy my swords, I'm going to need to slip into the woods next turn, but while I still have my swords, I can still do damage. Yeah. I, yeah. Huh. So what I need to do is to move troops into that territory to prevent you from just scoring points off of my buildings. I also score points off your troops. Do you? Infamy! Oh, oh, right. right, because you are hostile. Less points yes. than the, the buildings though, and then I at least get to hit you back, right? So I think yeah. that's important. Ah, man, though, that's freaking annoying. But it's, I only get points if I'm the aggressor. In the standard game, yeah, at least yeah, in the okay. board game, it's not if I'm a defender, it doesn't, because it, it, no, in the misclick. beginning... Oh, no, I, I cannot do. I can undo. Yeah, yeah, Way I back when, when they made the I'm game. Gonna, I'm gonna be AFK for a short second. Be right back. No okay. No ba worries. Way back when they made the game, it was whenever you fought and somebody died in battle against the Vagabond, or then he got the points. But that became overpowered because in the mid game, like now, where you're trying to stop me, you just start attacking me, attacking me, attacking me. I just didn't rake in points when you went up the defender. It was impossible to beat down the Vagabond, so they made an errata and decided that it was only when he attacked. Yeah. Which, you know, it made a lot more sense. Um. So I'm making a march for sure. The question is, where do we go from here? I need more troops in that. You can put all okay. your attention against me and then the, the bird man is just gonna slap you around. I know. Yep, I'm d trying to deal with both at the same time. And he's you not can't. affecting you, so I might just lose in trying to, I, yeah, I think it's more, you are definitely leading. So I, yeah, in fact, I, I'm gonna undo this move regardless of what. Because I need need another warrior in there. When I played on the one as the vagabond, it was on the like I said, it was on the winter map as the uh, scoundrel. The winter map has two blocks of uh, clearings, and then they are like in the top, in the north, and the south is one clearing, uh, one path, making these two blocks of clearings together. So I burned one path in the in the bottom, so there was only one way the two blocks would come to each other. And the cats ruled one block, and the birds ruled the other block. So they just fought in the top while I just ran around and stabbed them in the back. And we got a lot of points. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I started yeah. out the game, but I, I sneak attacked the bird in the early game, so he was revolting for a few turns. And then I slipped over, did the burning, and started attacking the cats. So the birds got the tem time to rewind and get up, get up in speed again and push. So the cats couldn't focus on me because he had to focus on the birds in the top. And the birds couldn't hurt me because I was in the cat territory, so I could just stab his uh, his buildings and his wood and stuff. It was it was glorious. It's free. I really love the vagabond. He's such a little bastard. Yeah, I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> no, we're friends. Enemy of my, my enemy. Whole turn, shit, man. Enemy of my <sighs> enemy, Jason, sir. Terrible. Yeah, you are both enemies of my enemy, so you are both my friends. <laughs> mm, <yeah. laughs> I, I like that logic. <laughs> see, see, both of you are my friends, but you are attacking Hijin, enemy of my friend. Yes! That's oh, exactly. I didn't misplay. I should have discarded that one. And getting mad okay. cash from yep. it. I'm really excited to try this in a four-player game. It's gonna be very different. Oh, and I don't want to be the cats. I don't want to be the cats when there's four players fucking up your kingdom. You feel so powerful oh. at the start, and like, I own everything, and then everything just falls to shit. 
That's why uh, that's why it sucks that the mechanic with field hospital only triggers on your turn, because it can feel so oh. soul crushing. I can wait, 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 why can't I? I disagree, Please. because I wanna, I wanna you can build. get point. You can get cards. I, I, I mean, I want to craft no, stuff. Point. Sorry. Oh, I don't know how that works. I want to craft check your, stuff. Uh, that means two rabbits. Check your turn order. It's in daylight. It's in daylight. So you do your decree thing first. Uh, if you click on your card I and then click at the little moon and moon and sun at the top, and it says yeah, faction first order, craft face order, rules, then use the decree. Uh, yeah, that's in the daylight. Look to the, the bird song, you add to the decree. Yes, yeah, I know. You're in the bird song but right I just, now. Okay. I just finished my decree stuff. It doesn't no, say it's still it, says it says Eerie is assigning cards, cards to I the know, decree. I it does say so, so, but I now press skip. Uh, and okay. This is where it usually asks me to craft, but it's already asking me to recruit warriors. Did you have anything? You, did you have anything you could craft? Yes, I got two cards to craft, and both of them need two rabbits. And I have the rabbit clearing in the middle and the rabbit clearing in the bottom right. But I need roosts there to craft. Yes, yes. You don't have a roost at the bottom right. I do not have the roosts. Mm. Okay, in that case. Uh, Kishin, you were saying something? What was I saying? I forgot. <laughs> something Sorry. about uh, the mechanic with the, the field hospital. Oh yeah, because you can get cards off of turn, so then when it gets to your turn, you might have had, you might have gotten cards that you didn't otherwise had, have. Uh, that might only be the vagabond giving you cards that I'm thinking about. But no matter so what, that's if, an advantage if, in getting but, cards during your turn, so you can pay for your warriors at the beginning of your turn. Also, your opponents don't know if you are actually going to spawn warriors. But I, I understand your counterpoint. That's entirely fair that you don't get them immediately, so you are weak to attack until it's your turn. I get that. And usually That's the why point I'm leaving some warriors at my base. Uh, I, I don't think I could ever leave my, my keep unguarded at this point in the game. No, but that's the point. When you have the, if the real ability that's in the board game, that's when you can leave it because you just put all your warriors into three clearings. When, with hmm. eight warriors, or maybe five, six warriors in each clearing, and a few left back to but, defend but the second the Vagabond ring. Vagabond can run in and wreck my home base then. So maybe you leave two or three warriors in the home base and have uh, 22, seven in each clearing. That's still a shit ton of warriors. Hmm. Then he has to pretty much beeline, and if you saw him, see him start to slip down near it, then like, in that point of the game, you're usually either friend with him or enemy with him. And that's when the political game starts, where you go like, uh, Mr. Vagabond, uh, could you please not snipe my keep? So, just a second. Mm -hmm. There's no point in attacking you, because you only have one sword, you're gonna slip anyway. He's got two swords. We'll get that logic right. He's got two swords. He doesn't see the second sword, he doesn't need to see the second sword. Mm -hmm. what, I only, I, what? I only see one sword. Uh, if you click on him, really? He's got the the thing on click the left. On there, there's two ah, swords. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm crossed out yet. Okay, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna slip. I'm gonna slip. Like there are too many warriors here right now, and I need my other actions. Don't so you're listen telling me to there's him. no point in hitting you right now. Yeah, there's no point. Let's not lie to me. <laughs> You'll see when you he's press say that. turn. <laughs> oh, oh, damn it. <laughs> I hate being the cats. Oh, I fucking love the cats. I mean, it's a really cool faction and I'm having fun, but it's just like, I feel like everything is just constantly losing stuff. It's so all yeah, I'm doing. Yeah, that's how you stuff. get the points. You still have, like, you still have a lot of points, and if you lose buildings, you can just rebuild them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not if I destroy I know, I know. all the sawmills. Yeah. Maybe I should have taken out the recruit. Oh, instead. but he, uh, no, but if you destroy it. the first building of each, uh, the first one of each building of each tier that the bird, uh, the, the Marquis puts down, always only costs zero. Yeah. Oh, so I should have destroyed my... No, 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 it works out. Yeah, it checks out. 
I kept my recruiter because they were, I've been paying a lot for them. The warriors. Now I'm behind. So do you get to repair everything here? Yeah, you do. Yeah. No. Don't worry. The cat, the Discarmed. birds are the bigger enemy now because you're you're on the back foot, and he's gonna get five no points shit. next turn. He's getting four points per turn. So we need to start giving him turmoils. Yeah, I can't. Uh, give him a turn. I didn't exactly make it, make it easy for you to give uh, anyone turn -wise. No. You've been good about uh, the way you recruit and where you spread out your bases. He needs to build another base, which means he either has to go for. Yeah. He has three clearings he can attack, and one of them he already has a lot of warriors in. I think you're gonna have to withdraw uh, your four I'm... warriors there. So I can craft this one, huh? Instead of spending it for an extra action. Ah, uh, that's a tough decision. Do I need four actions? Let's see, one, two. Two, and then I probably need one, the th third, and then I'm not doing anything else on my turn. Do I need that fourth action? I need it to recruit, so yes. Okay, so first I will definitely be spending this one action. Then the big brain play comes in here. Uh, the recruit is not the big brain play. That's a lot of recruits. Yeah, four. Four per turn. I'm now I'm out of meebles, so I gotta start fighting somewhere, which is fine. The plan. If I you don't if this have plan to works. Do anything. You can you can choose whatever you want. You don't need if this to plan do works. Then there will be turmoil. Now the downside of this is that uh probably Ape will just win the game because I I can't stop you both from winning. Oh, that was a misclick back okay, the animations could be a little bit quicker maybe there's a way maybe, maybe there's a button to speed it up I haven't checked sometimes I'm it's a little bit I think five because I don't want to leave uh, one undefended apes gonna go and kick my butt in there. This is to stop the birds who are snowballing. If I destroy this roost, you can't recruit in here and then you turmoil. So uh, I needed to roll more than uh, one year. I can't do it now. He has then two uh, rapid clearings. Uh, I no. don't exactly know why you think there's going to be a turmoil. Oh, okay. oh, you build a roost down there. I didn't see. Oh, yeah. Well, okay, so then I just fuck it, fucked it up. That's why I said he Maybe was I, being sorry. very smart. Yeah, okay. I thought I was doing the big brain thing here. Oh, I can I can destroy a roost here. Okay, that's that's fine. So we got we run roost roost then. That that's definitely worth the action. The other attack was just completely senseless. Senseless. Uh, you realize that I actually need you to destroy the roost because I'm gonna run out of roosts real soon. I mean, but okay, but then uh, then you just sit there and score tons of points. So that that's like. Saying pest or pest de la cholera, uh, cancer or. I, 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 I pest de la cholera is, uh, is a German saying as well. Okay, good. The English expression is the frying pan of the fire or something. Yeah, that's right. There's no, quite a few sayings that would, would uh, equate to that. Oh, I, it's already my turn. Uh, give me a card. Thank you. How? Did you <laughs> no, you, you spend a card doing that. No, I don't care. You can have that. I don't care. I just wonder how you do it. Uh, but you spend a card to do that, right? The one you craft. The guy who crafts Must... stuff and is pretty good at crafting yeah. stuff. Huh? You're the despot. He's not good at crafting stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh. Which is the lesser evil? <sighs> Let's see. I need this. And I need power right here. Oh my god, okay, you wanna go to war then, I see. <laughs> you just went to war. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, but, oh. You're de dedicating yourself to do four four attacks every turn from the here on out. That's, uh... Pretty intense. Not that there's probably not gonna be that many turns, now that I think about it. It's maybe looking at two or three more. Second moving action. Where do I actually want to move? Moving my troops up there. Was you just guys here. Such a waste. Didn't get any points. Oh, well. Can't win them all. Defenseless. Yeah, that'll do it. My stuff. I've been tired of getting to do quests. <laughs> I've just been fighting. <laughs> You don't have to do the quests, I think. You, you, your strategy no, is No, it's just a, it's a good alternative way of uh, getting points. Hmm. You could either go around and be friends and do quests, or you can uh, get attacked and have to fight everybody. Shouldn't I get points every time I kill something? No, that's only That's me. only the Vagabond. No, 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 no. He's special. No. When you, when you attack... If you, if you remove at least one enemy building or token in battle, score a point. I'm, yeah, I'm... but warriors oh. aren't tokens, so... Warriors aren't tokens, so I should have destroyed more buildings. Tokens are like oh. uh, wood. Wood or, you I know, um, wood or uh, sympathy tokens. I get it. I would have guessed the same. Let me just think. It's more apparent on the board game because buildings are square and tokens are round. Okay. Six rooms. T3. Hmm. So now I can be the kingmaker because I don't think I get to win here. So I can make one of you not win. Hmm. Destroy the roosts. in a turn it's the vagabond late yep. game not enough I'm afraid I have enough boots you only have two boots as far as I can tell yeah not enough
Alright. So, I mean, the good news is that I can turmoil Sir Jason, yeah, can... but I don't think I can stop the Vagabond from winning after that, unfortunately. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna fucking kill the Vagabond next turn. You're basically safe uh... from me. But, uh, but you're winning then, so that doesn't matter. I mean, I'm gonna have to turmoil you. How can you turmoil him? Uh, I am gonna move out of a fox clearing where so he I'm can in only fox do clearing. one fox attack. Oh, well then, shit. Yeah, but... Yeah, you, you fucked it up. <laughs> I, I, if you hadn't moved into that fox clearing, we could have turmoiled him. Yeah. I did not notice you moved into a fox clearing. Shit. Then I don't know. Do I keep this one? I Do I even have any workshops? Oh, I do. Okay, I don't have any workshops. Never mind. Um... Still start pushing like him out by killing points. him in the bottom, bottom point. Like take away his warriors, stabilize the game a bit. But how does that prevent? Oh, maybe no. Because he loses no, points when he turmoils. Right now he's going to be losing one, two, three, four, five points. And if we but destroy he's not him boost, he gets fewer. No, no. But when he goes into turmoil, because we can't make him turmoil this round, or maybe next round. Okay. Right now, I'm clearing out Roost so he gets fewer points at the end of his turn. Yeah, and then you are gonna win. <sighs> uh, maybe. Oh, I don't want to build here. Build here. Oh, this gives me two points. Nice. Now you can't affect me, anyways. Do I have a limit? In I could. Man? I could have Guard run to man. you and, and tried to murder him. Yeah, five Sorry? guards. Screw it. That was one action. How would I score points, if at all, so I don't get like a super embarrassing loss here? I don't know. Building. Yeah, but I, I'm out of... Oh no, I can build something. Oh, because I don't... Oh, I did have a wood. Oh. But now I'm just giving him more stuff to attack in fox clearing, so that doesn't really help. Yeah, you've built a safe decree. It's gonna be... Uh, with, if, since we couldn't leave the fox clearings behind, then I don't think we can do it. So... Vagabond? Are your items tokens? My dear friend and Vagabond? What are you saying? Are your items considered tokens? Can I just punch you to get... No. My victory point? No? No. And I'm not considering yeah, it. And, and the... And all the cast that says enemy warriors and stuff, I'm not considered a warrior. I'm just a yeah. vagabond. We don't we don't get anything for attacking him, so it's only to make him stop doing things and it's Yeah, I don't know. Can you win in your next turn? No. Are you lying? <laughs> I as it is right now, I haven't done the math, but it's your turn before me, so most likely no. Yeah, but you can't win if I punch you. It's not like I can ignore you and you can't win because you don't have the possibility. But I you have stop to punch you to prevent you from winning. Gaten is still not in sure the game too. Sense. Cats have a very explosive because they can they have easy crafting and easy point making from buildings. So right now there's a lot of buildings in the middle that you can move in and build in. Wait a I second. Um, what do you need cards for, Me? Yeah. Uh, aiding you. If I craft something, can... I I am shit at crafting. But if I can craft something, then I get the item. And the points. Yeah. Uh, but you can check his character. He doesn't. He has one hammer, so he can. Uh, he can. He's he's not super good at crafting at all right now. 
probably not the problem no. that we're looking and at. And any item you know, that takes... Been... Yeah, you've been, you've been very warrior-like with your build. Not not really that... Uh, none, of you, your none of you fuckers force. have been crafting anything I've wanted from you. None of you have crafted items. Yeah. I did yeah, one. No, why would I craft items? I don't get anything for it. And I got a... You still get one point, and if you only... There's a lot of items that only cost one point. The other gift one point, sorry. Can I minimize that? I need to look at the map for real quick. Okay, I... There's a minimize button now. And this. That one is important. That one I should get back. That one I should have as well. It's actually dangerous. Gonna do this. Oh wait, that's actually pretty risky. I'm gonna do this. Yeah. I, I can't craft. Oh, I'm so stupid. What did you do? Oh, a lot of movement. And recruiting. Oh, you can't actually move mm -hmm. from... <laughs> uh, Fox clearing. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> Yeah, that's, this is what I noticed. I completely forgot that I com built this workshop, so I just basically gave you points. That's stupid. Did not intend to do that. It's pretty nice of you. Yeah. I gotta say, I'm I guess making I can't some crop. pretty okay. glaring misplays in this game. Uh, like I said, the I mean, key just—they have so much, so much to take care of. I think so many things to keep an eye on, and not a lot of actions to work with. I feel. Wait, how um, did you just? How did you just craft? Don't you craft before resolving the decree? Oh, you had a... Uh... I did the decree first and then I craft. Yeah, 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 you had the command warrant. That's why. Yes, yes I have that. Nice. Oh, nice. I didn't notice you made one. Nice. It's such a good card. I can I can still... Mm. Wait, hold hold on. Oh, what? No, no, no. Can you, can you keep using the command warrant every turn? Yeah. What? Command Warren is incredibly strong. In in general, everything that is rabbits is just ridiculous. Uh, Root has will. the okay. thing where mind blown. If it doesn't say it, it doesn't do it. Like if all the cards that says this card after this, if you craft something that gives you victory points and an item, it also says afterwards that this card, this card. Yeah. Okay. So it's been it's this, made really damn intuitive at that my... point. My opinion on some, about some cards for sure. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But uh, Yuri is gonna win now uh, by the crafting. Oh yeah, I know, I know. He's he's won. Yeah. I gave yeah, him I the points in the, in the clearing there. Yeah, yeah. I don't have to do anything yeah, yeah. anymore. I just have to build roosts and, and then I'm. Yeah. If you hadn't moved um, into that fox clearing, I don't. Th I don't uh, I'm not sure it would have mattered. I think it wouldn't even matter. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you would still you can still. Uh, Destroy my other base, and that's gonna. I'm almost running out of people, by the way. Mm, yeah. Yeah, so much. Well, I mean, you managed just... to go. You didn't turn out at all this game, right? So you you played the safe yeah, decree, and it worked for, for, for you. Game. Yeah. Let's see. Also, good choice. I want to move. I actually want to move. I have two moves left. It's it's Joker moves. So I am going to fight in Fox clearings anyway. So I'm gonna move in here with everyone. And I have another move from here to here. Oh, oh this one isn't. But you won. I almost I almost moved all of that. Ah, right? I, I could build anyway. So choose you, an enemy to combat. Thing, I'm gonna combat him. Get wrecked. Yeah, but you got so many items, you don't even have to destroy any boots and any swords. No, but like, you're gonna win this round, so it doesn't matter much. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm still the, gonna keep punching you. Just the great part of this, about this game is it gets better the more you play it. Yep. Yeah. I can tell. Oh yes, 2-0. to zero. Get wrecked. 
There is not like a turn limit, right? Is, uh, do I understand that correctly? No, no, you, you play until it's over. But yeah. it gets so explosive at the end. Yeah. Now let's see if I can destroy you in here. Uh, Some factions, there. like the Riverfall Company, can easily make 14, um, 14 points in a turn. But two to zero, get wrecked. It was a pleasure battling you, Sir Jason. <laughs> take that. Oh, no, I don't take screw it. you. I'm gonna be crafting more in the future. I, I thought these many of these cards would be like discard stuff. When another player draw a card. Four points. In Birdsong, may take another round. Oh. Interesting, yeah. GG. Birds rule, birds reign supreme. Alright. GG. That was cool. GG. Yeah, but don't stuff. run into an ambush on the first turn. I actually know how to play the birds. Yeah. You did well. Maybe you were a bit lucky. I think you drew all the bird cards because I had like two bird cards throughout this that entire game. I actually had the problem that I'm that I was drawing too many bird cards. I wanted to use two cards <laughs> of my decree, and I just drew two bird cards. And I had the one uh, fox card that I really want to craft, so I didn't want to use that in the yeah, in okay. the decree. So I had like two turns where I could only use one card into the into the decree. Hmm. So yeah, that's so, like... Uh, clear, clearly it was entirely room. luck and no skill at all, we're hearing. That's what we <laughs> take away from it. That's what we take away from it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it was a pleasure playing with you both. I'm assuming you guys are going... Yeah, I need to go to sleep. Or what? Yeah. yeah but I'm, 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 te I'm definitely up for this another time. Oh, yeah, we, I'll be too. doing uh, this more. I'm up for playing against Farkas in roughly eight hours. Okay. Oh, nice.